we as adults, we don't play often enough. We just work. Or we watch people play. We watch f football on TV, whatever. Or we watch a movie where people are doing a, an activity that seems fun. But why don't we play? We, we can. In fact, if you look at what I'm doing here, with this object, and this is an, uh, kind of an example that Alan Watts said, you can make, people have a separation between work and play. Why is that? Why is there a separation between work and play? They'll be like, I work hard so I can play hard. I have to work. I have to. I have to do that thing so that I can play hard later. Lexi Lou is here. What's up? Good to see you. But if you look at me doing this thing here, and I hope the frame rate can show you what I'm doing, I'm spinning this at just the right amount. If I go really fast, it jerks it up, you know? And if I go too slow, then it's just sort of limp there. But I want to spin it at just the right amount so that it makes a bubble, right? And I also have another problem here. This is not perfectly straight, this little thing. So I have to work it, right? Like that, so that I can make it round. Right, the little cylinder is round. So I'm spinning in my fingers. And then it, the curvature, I have to make the curvature less so it's more straight. Perhaps I can stabilize it here. Now I'm in better control of it. I'm right here, right here in this moment with this object, spinning it around. And it is such, such a, a trivial task. But it's fun. I am nowhere else focused on nothing else. I have this task, and it's it's difficult. I mean, I have to do it just right to make sure it makes the right shape. And then an observer might see it and say, Oh, you know what? It looks good enough to me. Right? And I say, no, it, that looks okay, but it's just kind of wiggly, right? I want it to look like this, so I have a standard that I want it to be, right? When I'm focused on just this, and I'm putting all this work into it, I have the satisfaction of knowing that I'm doing it. And when I'm immersed in a task that is um, neither too easy nor too difficult, and I'm focused on just the task, and then I get I get with it. I say, man, I think I really got this now. Hey, there we go. I'm getting the, the proper technique now, right? 
I didn't want to get crazy with it. Well, maybe I can turn it sideways like this and do the a similar action. Hey, now I can do this. And now I'm doing more with it than I thought I could. So now I can turn it all the way, like, horizontally. Whereas, if I had tried to do something like that in the beginning, it would have just... It would have just crumbled up on itself and then got tangled. But because I was focusing on it, and I practiced it, and I got good at it, and I had my own standard of doing it, and because I'm doing it for the sake of doing it, I'm not doing it to make you happy, I'm not doing it to, um, so that someone else will say, hey, I'll pay you to do that thing if you do it. I'm not doing it uh, for any reason. I'm not even doing it because I have a need to see this thing go. It has no purpose other than itself. And yet I am completely immersed in this. This is what um, I aim to uh, experience when I do stuff here on the show. Whenever I do triggers, you know, um, whenever I do, you know, other tasks. Um, let's see. Um, I, I try to put myself into a flow state where nothing else exists except for right here, right now, doing this. And as it turns out, it is wildly entertaining, <laughs> right? And not just to me. <laughs> You, you all are here to watch me do it. But you're not here to watch this flop around. You're here to watch me experience this. And how could you witness me experience a moment so pure? If I'm doing it as a payment to you for um, using channel points to redeem a request, or if you um, cheer a certain number of bits, or gift a sub, or subscribe to me, or something, and then I say, okay, now I have to do this little entertaining thing for you. Both of those things can happen. I can do a trigger or whatever thing, but if I'm doing it with the expectation, or if you are gifting a sub or cheering bits or whatever, with the expectation that I will do the flashy light thing, or if I feel that there may be an expectation then it's broken. Then it doesn't work. Then I am not experiencing a flow state. I am not experiencing the present moment. And I'm not playing. I'm working. So, you can do this with anything and everything. Shoddy Casual says, Joy experienced is joy multiplied. Yes, exactly. Um, Sarah says, good gift to Lily Sandy. Yes, Lily, thank you for this. It has been, oh, about a year since I even used this, maybe more, since I even pro 
brought this on the show. I've had it just sitting, chilling. It's purposeful. It's mesmerizing. Thank you. Pretty zen. Thank you, Timber's Crunch. And so that's the point that I want to make. Is that you, me, anyone, all of us can experience play in the things that we do. Even the things that we think we have to do or that are tasks for work. All right, here's, here's one that nobody enjoys doing. Nobody says, oh boy, I get to do the dishes. Whoopee. Unless, unless when you wash the dishes, you take one item from its spot and you say, I don't have an example, I'm looking desperately to find a prop and I have an entire, uh, this is a book, it's, it's not a dish. But you take a dish and you, you, you dunk it in the water. Maybe you get it wet, right? And then you get the soap, swoop, and you get the sponge and you, other side, rinse. And you're satisfied with your work and you see and you're focused on your task and you've gotten all the pieces of uh, you know speckles of food and extra little suds of soap off of there and now you have that and then you place it over and then you you get the next item oh this one's different this one's a cup you the next thing and it's trivial it could be trivial, but in this case, it ends up serving a purpose. But if you think about the end, or you think about the pre, the, your state of being before, and be like, man, I would rather be playing that video game still instead of washing these dishes. <clears throat> or man, I can't wait till this, this is done, because tomorrow I'm going to go over to a friend's house and we're going to hang out. And also play video games, as a matter of fact, right? Whatever. If you live right here, right now, the only thing that exists is this moment right here, right now. And you appreciate it for what it is and the task that you're doing. And you make every task that you do play. And you can aim for, instead of trying to enter a, a flow state, you hope you get to experience some flow state. The thing that you're doing, everything that you do, everything that you have done, everything that you will do, only exists right here right now when you're doing it so why not have fun with it and then when you do and I theorize only when you do have fun when you are playing only at this time will you discover new and creative ways to do that task or things related to it because you were playing. When you say, oh man, everything is boring around here, everything is the same old, same old. Play. Instead of working hard to play hard, don't work. Just play. And you'll never have to work a day in your life. And 
And that's it. That's it.